All right, check it out guys, it's Trevor James and Ting Ting. Hello. And today we're giving you an exclusive, full-on house tour of our place here in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. We're gonna be giving you a look at the extreme value of this condo in Malaysia, giving you a full tour. We're gonna to talk about the price and compare it with other places all around the world. We're gonna have a special feast and we're gonna start right up here with the private elevator. Let's go check it out. Here we are guys, look at this. This is the private elevator. Ting just hit the floor. We are up pretty high in the 30 plus, 40 plus range. And it's a really cool apartment. We're gonna show you the whole thing and compare it with other locations around the world to show you the amazing value that you get here. Here we are guys. Welcome to our home. Yeah. Nice to be here, isn't it, Ting? Yeah. So, take a look at this, guys. We're gonna tell you the full story of how we chose to live here at this location in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. Let's go take a look. Let's hang out on the balcony first. Talk about this place, how we chose to live here, and why this is such extreme value. Nice view, isn't it, Ting? It is. It's beautiful. And look at that, guys, downtown KL. We've got the Petronas Towers, we've got the KL Tower, National Mosque, and then there's a nice green park area over here. And wow, we've got a, a two bedroom unit. So that's our corner master bedroom. And then here's the guest room. I actually like the guest room a lot more. So it all started last November, 2019. Yeah. We lived in Chengdu, China for five years. And we were renting an apartment there for $250 per month. It was actually really nice. Really nice. It was really nice. Really cheap. Really cheap. Not really nice, but really cheap. It was pretty good. <laughs> Way out in the outskirts of Chengdu near the mountains. And for the last year or so, we've been planning to move to Malaysia. So we came to Little India right off the plane from China. And we had our friend Alan showing us around Little India. And he brought us for some authentic Hyderabad biryani. It was so good. It was so good. And we decided we have to live in this area because of all the delicious Indian food and Malaysia is a food hotspot. There's Malay, Chinese, and Indian. All in this area, Little India. So we were walking around, just around the corner there, and Ting pointed up to this building and said, yeah. wow, it would be nice to live in there, right next to Little India. And one of the best things about living at this location is the swimming pool on the top mm -hmm. 50 plus level Floor. It's closed right now because of quarantine, but yeah. I have footage from before, so let's run that. As soon as you step out of the elevator, there is an infinity pool, which is about, I don't know, 50, 50, meters. 50 meters long, yeah. and the sun in the morning is glistening off of it. And you can see the KL skyline and the sunrise and sunset. It's a beautiful location, and there's actually three. There's the first main pool, there's the smaller pool to yeah. the side, and then there's a kid's pool in the corner, and they all face the KL skyline. So we had family visit us in February, and we were all swimming up there. It was really nice, and it's cool water because it's usually all year round plus 30 degrees. So you step in that pool, and it's so comfortable, so refreshing. And when we saw that, we knew we had to move in here. And the prices were like a little higher than other places in Kuala Lumpur, but comparable places around the world, this is very affordable. It was a, a big step up from our $200 place in yeah. Chengdu. Let's go check out the inside. There's a nice, large, open living area. We've got a TV, we've been playing guitars, I've been practicing and trying to teach Ting as well. I'm not that good, but you it's should fun. Play. Should I play? Yeah, you should play something. Really? Yeah. Okay, uh, like, I'm not good, but I'll just try. I'll just try, okay? I didn't have a pick in my pocket ready, I didn't. Yeah, just basic stuff. It's but great. No. But it's been keeping us occupied during quarantine. I hope you guys are all staying healthy. Wherever you are, at home, around the world, it's, it's 
definitely a unique time in the world right now. And I've been editing videos here, doing emails. This is a standing desk, so you can raise it or lower it. This is where I edit my videos, working, all the stuff that's involved with being a travel vlogger, which right now, we're at home. This is where we hang out, eat dinner, and this here is the dry kitchen. So this is a two bed, three bath condo in Brickfield's Little India area. And look at this. 1,600 square feet. 1,600 square feet. And look what we got delivered today. The excited thing. So we're gonna give you guys a full house tour today. We've got a giant durian to celebrate with you guys moving to Malaysia for eating food. China was amazing, but Malaysia is their new home base. The food is amazing, the people are great, and it's so good to be here. Take a look, guys. Show you our fridge. So we've been living um, the last two months plus home cooking, which is, which is nice. We've got fresh veg, we've got broccoli, tomatoes, mushrooms, chicken. We've got soda, which I've been drinking. Ting is drinking Coca-Cola. We've got fresh herbs. This is what I love about Malaysia. Look at this, guys. We got curry leaves. We got pandan leaves. We got lemongrass. So yeah, we've just been cooking. We got broccoli. We got bell peppers, bok choy, spinach. We got a fruit drawer down here, which is great. We got apples and fresh mangoes. We've been making juice every morning. And back here, let's go take a look. We've got the wet kitchen. So it comes with washer, dryer. These are included in the place. We've got the, this is the gas stove. We haven't been using this as much because we've been using the dry kitchen. And this is the emergency exit here, which goes to the stairs because this is the main entrance that we just came in from. So the elevator room. You come out through here and you can actually leave your door unlocked because only you have the key. This is Ting's office. Yeah. <laughs> and what are you doing here, Ting? I, I upload video on Chinese platform and I love to watch our video in Chinese platform. And Ting has been uploading all of this content on these Chinese platforms for the last five years. Yeah. So yeah, it's pretty cool. And that's, that's part of how yeah. Ting has been helping since the beginning. When you watch the video, and then you can see all the comments yeah, on the Yeah, the comments screen. come on the screen. And I love it. It's funny. It's really fun. To just... That's our name, Chiho La Wai, the foodie foreigner. This is the old video. In old Xi video in Xi'an. And then down this way, so that's the living room area. And then down this way is the master and guest bedroom. So before this pandemic, we were hosting friends and family. This is the third bathroom here. So. You can use this. And here is the guest bedroom. This is actually my personal favorite because it's got the kale skyline view. Guest bed, got the view here, closet over here. And then this is my favorite part. Look at this, guys. So here's the shower. And you can see the skyline view as you shower. There's the Petronas and kale tower and the breeze is coming in. I use this shower personally to have cold showers because it's warm and humid here in Malaysia. And then this way is the master bedroom that we're living in. Take a look at this, guys. It's exciting showing you guys our home. This is the closet area. This is the Thai Haula closet. Thai Haula, Thai Haula, Thai Haula, Thai Haula, Thai Haula, Thai Haula. And then this is the bed, the bathroom here. We've got the toilet. This is the Japanese butt warmer toilet. It warms your butt. And then here, look at this. Comes with a butt sprayer. Oh, you can use that if you want. It's good right now, but in Malaysia, there's no toilet paper shortage. But this in the US would be valuable right now. And then over here, we've got the sink and bathtub view of Brickfield's Little India out this window here. I can say after living here almost five months now, I haven't even had a bath, but it is a nice view. If you were to have a bath here, you can bask in the 
in the city skyline. Yeah. And the shower. Look at this, guys. You can open up the window. Take a look at the view. Pretty cool though, hey T? Yeah. And then here is the master bedroom. So it's the corner unit. Yeah. And you can see the view of downtown KL and also Little India, which is why we chose to live here. Or why I was so excited to live here. This is all Little India down here. There's just something about the air in Malaysia. It's this humidity and this real relaxed vibe. There's Malaysian time. Everything is kind of slower here than you would get in Tokyo or in Beijing, Shanghai. It's more of a relaxed life. By the way, one of the most common questions we get is, are you married? <laughs> and yes. yes, we are. And here we are, guys. It's time for durian, and we're gonna talk about the value of this place, part of the house tour. But first, look at this beauty. Oh yes, let's cut this beauty open. So with durian, I'm not a pro. I don't claim to be a pro, but I do love durian. You sort of just cut in here and, and feel, wait for a line to crack. Oh yeah, see there's a line. All you do, once you got a line, you just put your finger in, and it should just pry open. And then look, oh, 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 look at that, durian. That is red prawn. Fresh red prawn durian. We just cracked it open. How is it, Ting? It's creamy. The whole house smells like durian this morning as we woke up, because we ordered this last night. This is our housewarming durian party with you. You're invited to join us. How's the durian ting? Oh, it's so creamy. It's creamy. For me, it's like vanilla ice cream. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. Oh. Mmm. It's like vanilla ice cream. Upgrade. So this condo, it's costing us about 1,200 USD per month. And it's 1,600 square feet. Let's look at some comparable places. New York, London, Paris, Tokyo, LA, Shanghai, San Francisco, Vancouver, Toronto, Hong Kong, Beijing. But the affordability is just the beginning. We moved here for the food, the multiculturalism, the open-mindedness, the friendliness of the locals, the abundance of travel opportunity, the beaches, the mountains, the forests, all combined make Malaysia an amazing home place and great place to be. I really believe in this country. I love it so much. We've already made lots of great friends and we're so happy to be here. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed this house tour video. Please leave us a comment down below. Click that subscribe button if you haven't already and the bell notification bell so you don't miss any of these videos. Thanks a lot for watching guys.